yo, welcome back to Space Plan. Look at this, 180,000. My name is Dr. Nut, and here goes our pro potato roots. Pro potatoes are all rooted in, now producing three times the power. Any more info? Not so much. Pro potato planters for 1.8 million watts. Better foundations for pro potato power making. I mean, we're doing 1,014 per second. Uh, but that is insane. 1.8 million. Yeah, what's that? Okay, well, we can still see them on the surface. I thought they'd maybe disappear because they're in the subsurface, but not so much. We la launched a few more Spudniks. Launch one. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to have to really work on the things in the ideal lister. I thought we'd get more info for the, for the planet by now, but not so much, huh? Let's launch. Let's get up to 10 Spudniks. And then I think we do the atomic kinetogen. Because I am not sure uh, what else we have to do to gain info. So maybe we'll just work on the ideal list here. That thing is... Or no, maybe we'll do this thing next. So one more Sputnik and then we'll work on this. I think... I think it's worth it to go... the easier things to build. So the things that require less energy first before we really, you know, take on these large, large ideas. We're about 10% of the way through to the mystery item in our thing maker. Because so far what's happened is every time we, 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 we don't know what this is, when we figure it out we come, I think, relatively close. So when we get to like 250, 260,000 watts, we'll find out what this is and then another thing will happen. Like another thing we can make will appear. I think that's what we'll do. Work on that. Just enjoy the ambient music space using our potato power figure out what in the world this planet is about I wonder if it's potato themed what would make sense let's let's uh, think about this here we've got 20 solar panels non potato themed solar panels we've got 20 potatoes We've got 20 row potatoes and 10 Spudniks. Hmm. I think the planet is like a... I don't know, it's red. I was going to say, maybe it's like... Butter? That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. None of this really makes sense. That's the point, right? It is a misunderstanding of Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. That's the joke behind it. And like, what are we? Are we? We can't be potatoes because that would be just disgusting. We're using potato fuel in our potato rocket, so we can't be potatoes unless we're sacrificing our own kind for fuel. And that's a bit morbid, I hope. <laughs> so I don't know. These are questions that we'll have to figure out sometime in hopefully the near future. Oh, there it is. A potato plants. What does that do? Harvests power from the surface. 230 watts per second once landed. Oh, so this goes and lands on the actual thing. And this requires a landed pod. Oh, okay, yeah. I think this is what we have to do. So we'll launch our potato plant. It'll hit the surface. So maybe, maybe doing all these pro potatoes and Spudniks weren't really that necessary. They do generate power though, so that is helpful. Once we launch and the potato plant lands on the surface, boom. Potato plant launched. So it doesn't do anything. Oh, it is doing 230 watts per second once landed. And that'll be... 
There it goes. It's like as big as a ship. Holy crap. Once landed, we're going to do massive wattage. It's just flying right towards the surface here. Let's see it go. Boom, landed. Oh, it's a net. Oh, yes. Impact uncovered ancient stuff. We'll excavate the site with more power. Check the data area for progress. Wait, so do we need more power? Does it go faster with more power? Oh, man. That's actually fantastic. So what I'm, I'm going to do... I think we'll work... Hmm, is it worth it to work on this or another one of these? Hmm. The analysis will take some time. So all of this stuff is like child's play now. 3% or 3 watts per second. 32 watts per second. It is producing over 50% of our total wattage. There we go. Maybe we'll launch a few more Sputniks. I think we should... Maybe we should work on another potato plant. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll see. I, I wonder if the analysis will get done before we even get up to 326,600 watts. Maybe not. We are flying through the wattage. If I had a calculator, I could figure this out. The analysis seems to be taking, let's see, 1% every 9 to 10 seconds. So I guess if we, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll launch another potato plant. I think that's going to happen first before the analysis is done. And maybe that will give us quicker analysis time. Looks like our uh, Spudniks are kind of dispersing themselves. They they do clump up a lot, it seems, but they are getting spread out. They're almost surrounding the entire planet at one time. I think we do the potato plant, another one, and then we'll do the atomic kinetogen. 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 Kinetogen, kinetogen, whatever. Potato plant, go! Yeah, two of them does 32.6% of total wattage. Holy crap. Boom, landed. Oh, where's it going? It just went into the... Okay. I'm assuming it went behind the planet. There it is. Oh yeah, okay, so it's just behind it. We can rotate the planet. Oh, I see. I'm sure you would dig it more if I didn't sing, so I should probably stop doing that. So we're at 40% analysis complete. Still no idea what the mass is of this planet. I feel like with all of these satellites, we should be able to calculate it by now. I mean, come on. 
What are we, bad at math? Yes, yes we are. God, this beeping. Okay, so. Is it worth it doing? I think it's actually worth it doing another potato plant. So what does this do? Each Kinogen cycle could power a tiny town. 500 watts per cycle. So every time I click, it would be 500 more. I don't know. That's pretty good. But this is 230 watts per second. But I can click at least once per second. But I think the analysis is going... I don't know if it's actually going any faster than it was before. Hmm. Probably not, actually. So maybe maybe waiting to get to 400,000 for the atomic kinetogen is more worth it in terms of power output. So that's what we'll do. I can just click at least at least one time per second. This is an active uh, atomic kinetogen, though, is active. Or the potato plant is a passive gain. So, but we'll do the atomic and maybe we'll do another power plant after that. Potato plant, power plant. Another potato plant after that. Here we go. Kinetogen now produces an admirable 500 watts per cycle. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, this is, oh look at that, it's going crazy if I can actually click on the box. All right, we'll do another potato plant. What else do we have over there? Super kinetogen. Let's uh, quickly take a look at that. Each kinetogen, that's 10,000 watts per cycle, but 30 million watts. Even if the analysis is almost done, we'll launch another potato plant because it just generates so much power. Like this is doing 28% of our power. That's crazy. Then we'll do another potato plant. We'll see what the analysis says. Then we'll probably do kinet kinetogen spark catcher. What does that do? Soaks up those sparks, so plus 2% power gain per spark. Right now we're at plus 1%, I think. Look at our solar panels. 1.2% of the total wattage. Oh, man. It's like ancient technology now. There we go. Potato plant, go. What did we just get? More potato planters? No. Potato plant roots. Suck the nutrients out of the surface. Potato plant power gain times three. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we're going to just uh, let the analysis compl uh, complete itself. We're going to see what this is. Uh, see what we learn from the analysis and see what we can build next. I'm not going to spend any more of our watts. We're just going to... We're just going to accumulate watts for the last portion of this analysis time. As I think, hopefully, we learn something really interesting about the planet, something that will help us a lot. Um, and then we can spend our wattage accordingly. So we might have, oh my gosh, we might have 400,000 watts by the time this analysis is complete, so. I hope our little spaceship doesn't run into one of our Spudniks. Oh, it did. It flew behind it, though, let's just say that. And there's the second one, clunk. Dang, we're going to be well over. Holy crap. Can we get it to 500,000 watts before the analysis? We'll find out. I could launch another potato plant, but I won't. I'll resist the urge. 
So we're going to be... Man, we can maybe get 600,000 watts. We're doing about 100,000 for every 4% of the analysis. So at this rate, we should be at about, what, 650,000 watts by the time that analysis is complete. That's crazy. My finger can keep smashing the mouse throughout the rest of the analysis. 650, 650, let's go. Oh man, here we go. We're going to learn something, I hope. Let's find out what's going on. Comparing the data to what little info I have on file, it looks like we're on our home planet Terra, which can't be right, as it means as it's meant to not be dead. If that's correct, it must be the year 2356. I've updated our date record. Developing landing technology. I want to get a closer look at this thing. I've added it to the idea lister. Odd module for 6 million watts. Prepare escape pod for a harsh landing. Ship will remain in orbit producing things. Hmm. So yeah. Oh. This requires a landed pod. Oh, and here's our pod. Okay, I thought it was a potato plant with one of our pods. Guess not. So which one will generate us more passive? So solar panels? I don't think so. Reflect power back to your ship efficiently. Spudniks. They're generating 28%. I think this is the most worth it right now. Let's do that. Uh, some language. Three times power production from Spudniks. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna work on these power things. I think we'll do these two things and call it quits for this episode. But we can generate a ton of power. So let's quickly do that. This is what we have to do. That's our main task. But let's let's up this power so that we can do that. So 450 is what we need. 450 we can do in a few seconds. go. Every solar spark soaked up with the Kinetogen Sparkifier bars now gives us a 2% power gain boost for a second or so. Look at that. So we're up to almost 1.5 sometimes. 1.44. It's not a whole... It is kind of... It does add up when we're talking about 44% increase from 2,796 per second. So that's almost a thousand... That's probably a little over a thousand more actually. That's almost 1,500. I'm going to guess 1,345-ish, I'm not sure. 44% of 2,796. Regardless, it helps. Every little bit helps. Let's do the golden solar panels. And then I will call it quits for this episode. And let this run a little bit so that we can get up to our... We're going to do these two things too. We're going to do everything up to this point. I think they'll, they'll all help. So pro potato power gain times two. Yeah. And that times three would be huge. And maybe even another pro potato plant, but I think... I think we'll be okay. So now, now they're back up to 2.8%. They were just down to 0.7, so that helps a little bit. All right. When we return, I'm going to let this run for a little bit, actually. And maybe we'll return while I'm at about, oh, I don't know, 1.7 million. And then we will work on building that pod. Alright, so thank you for watching, and when we return, we'll be ready for the pro potato planters. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!